what, why was the secrecy, uh, or what was why the secrecy around this this figure on a government flagship program? You're, you're right that it's an absolutely crucial program, and you're of course right that there is a huge amount of interest in in uh, anything to do with the Migration Economic Development Partnership with Rwanda. Uh, but I, but I repeat what I said uh, last Monday, and indeed to the Home Affairs Select Committee before that, which is that. Um, we have uh, reached an agreement with the government of Rwanda uh, that this is commercially sensitive information and that the right way uh, to announce it is exactly in line with all other government spending, which is annually in the annual reports and accounts. And that's the normal way of all government spending from the Home Office and any other government department. Well, I have to say again, I think the Home Office is on the, rather, on the back foot on this because, you know, remember this committee doesn't just deal with the Home Office but with all other government departments. This, this well, what was commercially sensitive in, in, until the moment that it, was, that it entered into the public domain was the, was the size of the figure bearing in mind that the UK could be uh, negotiating similar agreements with other countries, and indeed so could Rwanda. Uh, and so we had reached that agreement. We take this partnership extremely seriously. Uh, I also take my responsibilities of transparency to you extremely seriously, and I have to balance the two. Uh, it is a requirement to publish the information every year in the annual report and accounts, and we commit to do that. It's a choice about whether to publish that information in advance. And the choice for me as accounting officer is one where I need to weigh up the different aspects of the public interest. And I did that. Uh, and that okay. changed on Thursday Matthew, morning.